hi welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to draft a half scale basic bodice this half scale basic bodice is something you could end up using to make your different designs of corset your blazers your tops your blouses and different dart manipulations of your choice and you can also use it to make other designs so this is why you're interested in knowing how to do make sure you stay to the end so you can follow the step by step process in making this half scale basic bodies so if this is your first time seeing this face hi i'm patricia in nigeria with my sweat designer based here in nigeria i create story tutorials fashion and style hacks and tricks behind the scene vlogs and lots more each week comes a new video so make sure you subscribe and click notification bell so you'll be the first to know when i upload new videos my new subscribers welcome to the channel so my OGs, like my old subscribers man you guys have been supportive you guys have been helpful thank you all for staying with me up to now i appreciate all your efforts so guys let's jump straight into the tutorial <laughs> Okay, so in today's video, I've got myself, my paper, my paper scissors, my measuring tape, my pencil, my armhole curve, and I call this my pattern master because I can use it to make a straight line and also a curve. So let's get down into the tutorial. These are the materials needed for this tutorial. Okay, welcome back to class. So I've gone ahead to mark the block pattern for this basic bodice and i got this measurement this block pattern i got it using my bust measurement using the bust measurement for this and the bust measurement for this pattern is 36 inches and 36 inches divided by four will give you nine inch plus extra two inches two inches on both sides in case of any alteration you know while drafting the pattern so this is a nine plus two inches eleven same thing for the front and the back so this is how it's going to be so if you if your bust measurement is 38 and your waist is there is 40 inches you can use 40 inches just use the highest measurements for your for your weight for your upper bodies use the highest measurements for your upper bodies so if your upper body's measurement like the waist side is 40 and your boss is 38 don't go and use 38 inches use the 40 inches to get this block pattern or you just don't you just divide the paper into two to give you extra room for allowances so let's get straight into this tutorial okay now this is going to be our center back and this will be our center front so notice this is the front and this is the back for this pattern so now we'll go ahead to get our waist measurement normally the back is always shorter than the front yes so if you measure your clients you measure the back length from the shoulder to the waistline and you measure the back length and the front length from the shoulder to the waist region so you normally have two inches difference on um on the sides like it's a standard measurement to get two inches difference from the front waistline so some persons can have three inches difference some persons that have very curvy back can have three inches different that means the back will be three inches smaller than the front so for this pattern for this measurement the back the front inch the front waistline is 18 inches while the back waistline is 60 inches that is two inches difference but i would advise you you measure your client so you'll be very sure of what measurement you're going to use so we'll get our back length which is 16 inches i'll be ruling out our back waist measurement so this is our back waist um line and this is our front so we'll go ahead to get our shoulder circumference and slope then the shoulder we're working with is 15 inches and 15 inches is 
divided by two will give you seven and a half. So this is where the seven and a half inch is. So I will do the same thing for the back. This is our seven and a half inches. Then I'll do the back slope. The back slope I'm using one inch. And the front slope I'm using one and a half inch. I will tell you why. Sometimes you see some dresses, they will be having a very nice fitting around the arm side. I mean the armhole area. So this is the effect. You follow this pattern very well. Trust me, you're going to have a nice fitting, no gaping around your armhole area. Everything is going to fit perfectly if you follow this pattern. So after getting your, um, your shoulder slant, you will get your neckline. If you want to get this neckline accurately, you will divide your bust measurement by 12 inches. If you divide your bust measurement by 12 inches, whatever you get is your standard measurement for your neck line for, for a neckline so for this pattern is 36 inches for the bust divided by 12 will give you three inches so i'll go three by three inches for the front like so and for the back i will go three by one inches three inches by one inch for the back like so so i'll be using my come to get it all right i'll join my shoulder slope to my neck line so i'll do the same thing for the back so after getting this now i'm going to get my armhole depth yes so to get a perfect armhole depth trust me you have to divide your bust measurements that's 36 that we are working with divided by six inches plus one and a half inch plus one and a half inch is standard so if your bust measurement is 40 inches you divide 40 inches by six you will get any number you get you plus it with one and a half inch so for this measure for this pattern and measurement we're using is 36 inches divided by six will give us six inches plus one and a half inch is giving us 7.5 inches so this 7.5 inches i'm not going to start from this front line to places i'm starting from this back slope this back slanting to place my 7.5 inches here so i'll measure what we have here all together that's 8.5 then i'll go over here and mark my 8.5 to make it in a straight line so this is my 8.5 five and over to the front i'll be using the 8.5 that we got here like everything we have here is 8.5 i'm not going to come to the front and measure 7.5 that we did here i'm going to go up to the starting and measure 8.5 inches downwards so that's that place becomes my chest line Sorry, I always like it to be accurate. Let me mark it down 8.5. So everything will be in a straight line. Let me put back my shoulder measurements down here, which is 7.5, which is here. Same thing for the back, which is 7.5, which is here. So I'm going to make a broken line on this angle yeah i'll make it you can decide to make yours a straight line but i want to make it a broken line so i won't get i won't get us confused on this part so this is it right here let me go ahead and use my marker pen on this other area so this is the stage we are right now so we need to get our bust measurement so our bust measurement is 36 divided by 4 will give you 9 inches we're going to place our 9 inches on this place yeah this is our 9 inches here and this is our 9 inches on this place 
so we want to make our armhole curve yeah this is where the main deal is getting your armhole curve correctly so for the front for the front i'll be coming up by three inches some persons can decide to divide this place seven by into two which is three and a half which is here but for me i come up from the chest line by three inches then you can go in by half inch 7.5 one inch but preferably i go in by half inches sorry half inch here and i will draw my line like so then i will bring my armhole curve and put it this way so this is our armhole curve right there so for the back repeat the same thing for the back for the back i will go ahead to divide what we have here which is 7.5 7.5 divided by 2 will give me 3.75. 3.75 is somewhere around here. So I will go in also by half inch and do my joining like this. Use my armhole curve to join it. Just be accurate while doing your why curving your armhole? I'll go ahead to use my marker pen to reel it all up like this. Remember, this is the basic of anything you want to draft, corsets, saw blazers, anything you want to draft. This is the basic. So you have to be very, very careful while drafting this pattern. To avoid any mistake or confusion so this is it right here so the next thing we have to do now is to is to mark out our vertical line our vertical measurement but before that let's get our boss point yes our boss boss point is seven and seven divided by two will give you three and a half that's three points five so we'll make our 3.5 like this from our center front we'll mark our 3.5 to get a vertical line to get a vertical line like this so after getting our bus span that's nipple to nipple we get our vertical measurement like this so for the vertical measurement we have our boss point and shoulder to boss point we are using is 10 and half make sure you measure yourself or your client accurately and shoulder to under boss we are using is for is 13 and half wide waist is 18 inches so we'll make our shoulder to boss point in a straight line Ten and a half is here. So we're going to mark it all in a straight line. Then we're going to get our waist measurement so we can join it up to the to the armhole to the bust measurements. So for the waist measurement, the waist we are working with is twenty eight inches, and twenty eight inches divided by four will give you seven we're using one and a half inches to do our dart intake so we're going to add it to the measurement we're going to build in our waist line so the waist measurement we got is seven that's 28 divided by four will give you seven plus one and a half inches which is 8.5 and now 8.5 is here so we are going to join it to the so the bust measurement like this and now we need to take our dart intake so for our dart intake i told you we are going to use one and a half inches that we need to eliminate the excess here 
and one and a half inch divided by two will give you 0 0.75 0 0.75 on both sides so this is how to count it for those of us that don't really know how to read the tape this is how to place it sorry this is okay i placed it on two here and this is half inch here and this is half inch here so the middle of the half inch is a 0 0.75 the middle of the half inch another half inch there is 0 0.75 so this is our 0 0.75 here and 0 0.75 here so i'll be joining it to our nipple point i'll join it to our nipple point like this okay let me use my marker pen to rule it off so you can see what i am doing here so this is our front pattern for the basic bodies yeah this is it you can go ahead and impute your underboss measurements it's mostly needed for that manipulation or contouring why contouring a dress so this is it and for that manipulation purposes you can also want to try it out like so dividing your shoulder by two inches we have we have approximately 4.75 here and divided by two will give you 2.2.6 something right so it should be somewhere here yeah yeah 2.5 sorry it should be somewhere here yep somewhere here so sorry you have to be very very careful while reading your you joined up to your boss to your boss point so this is it for the front so over to the back i know you've been wondering how is this going to match up the front um the front length and the back length going to match up after sewing it yes it's going to match up because we are going to take out our two inches here on our by the side which is our bust dart intake so we're going to take out the two inches excess for the back we we'll take it out here so at the side of the front will match up, match up with the side of the back so for us to take out that two inches from the nipple point this is your nipple and um, this is your bust line your nipple point line so i think i need to write it down this is your bust line okay because our bust line is your chest line is your on the bust And this is your waistline so from our bust line we'll come down by two inches so assuming you took out three inches from the back length you can also from the bust line come down by three inches even if it's touching your underbody just don't don't mind whenever you, if you finish sewing everything matches up accurately so even if it, it's touching it's touching your underboss you shouldn't be concerned about it because after sewing it up everything automatically matches up on its own so we took out two inches this is our two inches we'll be joining it to the bust point like so so when we close up this place now it automatically matches from the side of the front to the side of the back so this we've added our bust that here sometimes after sewing after cutting when you join your bust that this place tends to be shorter than this place yes if you not if you've noticed that this is how to correct that error so on these two inches that we have marked out here we'll divide it by into two which is one one inch that's one one inch on both sides 
so divide it into so which is one inch here this is it and on this one inch will come up by 0 0.75 this is 0 0.75 here and we'll connect it like this connect this to the ample and connect this to this place So this is it here. It shows that there is there is a bus that's around this place. So we are done for the front. Over to the back. This is the chest line for the back. This is the chest line. The same thing we did for the waist. We're taking in. We're taking out the dart with one and a half inch and it gave us eight it gave us um 28 divided by four gave us seven plus one and a half inch for that intake which gave us eight and half which is here so i'll do our joining joining to the first measurement so i will take out our nipple to nipple measurement for the back which is three and a half three and a half here i'll go ahead and connect it so for your back that intake you will come down from your chest line by one inches sorry one inch and take in your darts the same way we did for the front on how to calculate your your how to read your measuring tape so i'm taking in 0 0.75 0 0.75 on both sides and i will join it up like this so the one inch i dropped from the chest line So this is it for the back for the back that intake sorry this is it for the back that intake and for the zipper allowance we need to do our back curve to avoid gaping on the zip area so the back relaxes very well on our client's body so for the back tightening you can decide to come in from this back waistline by half inch 0 0.75 inch or one inch any one of your choice you can decide to come in depending on how tight and snatchy you want it to be so i'll be coming in here by 0 0.75 inch like so and from your neck depth you can decide to come down by three inches or three and a half or you can follow this um this the way we got the ample you can follow it down straight so i'll be dropping three and a half here and i'll be connecting it to my i'll connect it like this to the back tightening i did on the waistline so I've connected it like so. So this helps to remove zig bug around the back center back. So this is the full person now. I think we're done with the whole drafting and everything. So you can decide to do the same thing you did on this shoulder part for the back shoulder as well. This is four and half the same way you did it. You connect it with a using a straight line down. This one is not connected to this place. You connect the back onto the chest line like so. So it all depends on you. This is a full half scale 
um pattern so from this now you can alter your pattern to any form you like to anything you like to make your corset any of you have scale um style you want to make from here you can alter it that manipulation your corset anything you want to make out of this you can do it yes including your victorian corset different types of corsets that you want to make it's very easy in case in our next tutorial i'll be showing you how to draft your corsets using this same pattern so we go ahead now and cut out our pattern So this is what the pattern looks like after cutting it as you can see i've not cut out this um this back slope here so i want to cut it i don't want to cut it off the camera i need to cut it why um here a few minutes so this is it i've cut it out and now i need to close up my bust that so i'll be closing on my bust that like this this is going to match up with this other one like this so you have to be very careful while closing it up so you notice why i added extra allowances here for this bust that I'll be using my tape to tape it down. So I'll be using my tape to tape it down from here. Just be very careful and patient while doing this. So you won't make any mistake. So this is it right here i've taped it down and look at what it looks like so i'm going to cut out the excess here if you can see this is our main line for this is our main line for this measurement and this is the other main line so i'm going to join it up and cut it out very easy to do join it up from here to this to the bus that let me use my marker pen to do that and we are good to go so this is it and i will cut out the xx that i have there so this is what we have this is it everything is all straight up this is our pattern and everything is seated comfortably comfortably so with this pattern you are sure of making a good fitted outfit your peplum tops your anything that involves half scale so this is it this is how it looks like all beautiful and you know very nice and as you can see after drafting everything after cutting out everything the and we have joined our bus that the front and the back is matching up together no differences everything the shoulder everything is matching up together to show you that this pattern is accurate it's very much 100 percent accurate so you don't need to bother yourself when you're taking out the two inches from your back length okay i hope this tutorial was helpful to you if it was for you give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload new video. You can check up other videos on my channel. I'll be linking it somewhere on the screen so you go check it out. See you all in my next video. Thank you.